What do you know about Fifth Axis Work Holding? Well, Jason here is going to take us on a tour of his stand and there is a lot to, to show you. Jason, thank you for letting us do this. Now, this is, this is kind of where it all began, isn't it? Yes, this is where Fifth Axis began many, many years ago with the dovetail fixtures and we've got various sizes in the in the range so they started by manufacturing for their own use in their factory in san diego california and then moving on from there they've they've gone from and created a range of dovetail fixtures so what makes them really stand out what's special about them okay so they're all small very small compact footprint but very very powerful so um you may see these here lindsay we've got these little dovetail fixtures here mm -hmm. and here and you'll see the size of them are very very small very compact and incredibly strong for their size you can hold very very large billets on these things and obviously um, yeah you can have them across your workshop and this is what fifth axis did use them for their own use originally that's brilliant. They've used it, they've worked out what works, and now they can produce and bring it to market. And they're really versatile here, and you've got great access to the component, haven't you? Yes, that's right, Lindsay. So access is, is, is key, as we know, on five axis machines. So this is why these are very popular with our customers here in the UK. So you can have from the smaller sizes to the larger sizes. We have little pyramids with dovetail fixtures on. We have small doubled up ones. We have a single one. And you can see with this one here, you've got accessibility all the way around it. And if you imagine there was a large billet on there, you can get all the way around it. No interference from screws or, or vice spindles or anything, nothing too cumbersome. You know what I'm quite interested in as well is the fact that there's so many of your products on stands around the show. That kind of speaks volumes, doesn't it? Yeah, we're incredibly proud to, um, to, to be at Mac again for our second year. But in uh, two years ago, we came for our first year. Two years later, we're here. But we're supporting uh, companies that we've never dreamed of as people like Mazak, Matsura, Haas, Mac Machine Tools. These guys are incredible and have allowed us to support them and, you know, it, it must be good kit for those sort of guys to have on their machines. A partnership. Right, let's go down here um, because we're going from one of the products into the rock lock bases. But you will, if you've got a good eye, um, you will see some of those products on some of these, including the pyramids and the tombstones. Right, OK, let's come over here then because I think you're going to give us a bit of a demonstration, aren't you, Jason? Okay, so um, we've got various rock lock bases here, Lindsay, um, and this is the foundation, and this is where we start with all our bases. We've um, got various ones for different types of machine tools, and we cater for pretty much every single machine that's out there. There hasn't been one that we haven't been able to put a base on yet. So we make them bespoke for certain machines, but we also have the DIY type, which you can put your own holes in uh, to fixture them to, whether it be a three axis machine, a fourth axis unit, a five axis table. Um, modular. Modular, <laughs> fantastic, yeah, yeah. Modular, and you can see we have ones that are, are risen here. We have the small single plates, and we also have a new threefold plate, which allows you, as you can see from the work holding here, be very, very flexible in what you might be holding. You can do so many different setups all on one machine. Can we have a little bit of a demonstration here? And let's just simplify. Tell me what the benefits are of having this system on your machine. Okay, so this system here is a little bit different to others out there on the market. Um, there are a few different um, systems, as you know, and we've got basically a lot of our bases are made from an aluminium sort of uh, material. Benefits of aluminium? Um, it's lighter. Um, you're not trying to reach into your machine tool, trying to bring them out, pull them out, and it's very, very heavy, a strenuous on the operator. Um, but also um, vibration dampening as well. So through steel parts and things like that, you sometimes get a chatter in the tool, works its way down the, the fixture or whatever. And then basically you've got it in the actual uh, base itself. It just helps to dampen and take it out. So. There's so much to think about here. Right, okay, let's have a little demo then. Okay, so the important thing here to remember, they might be aluminium bases, but um, all the gold parts that you see 
on our bases. The locking mechanism in the side, yeah, the, the little rings here for the, for the wear and tear of the pool studs, taking them in and out, they're all hardened steel components and then we tin coat them for protection. So wear and tear is very, very good. So we've got good properties of the wear and tear. The products will last for many, many years, but the bases themselves are also light to take in and out of the machine. So everyone's a winner. And accuracy is so important. Let's go see some of these Rocklock Zero Point systems and how versatile they are then. So these are your pyramids. Yes, so these are some of our new products, Lindsay. This is a, a large pyramid as you can see it. It's um, one of the first ones to, to hit the UK with an integral system. So a lot of people make pyramids themselves and they put plates on top so the stack is getting higher and higher. We've made it low profile, 20 degrees, and bringing everything down so they've got more space in the Z, good clearance around the components, and nice and compact and more rigid too. I was just about to say rigid because the lower it is, closer it is to the table, surely to goodness you've got more rigidity. Yep, sure, for 100%. And also, um, as you mentioned, the accuracy, the repeatability of these are going in and out of eight microns or better. So really accurate for a mechanical system. Fifth axis, you've got to remember how modular your systems are because we're going up a level. Love seeing these pallet systems in machines as well, but your tombstones, you're really pushing those. There's no downtime for these machines, is there? No, it, it keeps you flexible. It keeps it, it keeps it like, as you say, it's totally modular. The idea is to, is to reduce those setup times. And by having this and giving you total flexibility, you've got various sides. This, for instance, is for a, a large uh, tombstone for a uh, horizontal machining center. Um, a, we do it in a 400 pallet for a 500 pallet. This is a brand new product. This is going to be really popular here in the UK. It saves an engineer making his own, as they do. And here you can just see there's such little wastage of the, the part, the metal, isn't there, the material? Yeah, so it's a great feature. We'll come on to it, I'm sure, in a minute, Lindsay, with, uh, with reference to the dovetail system, which is unique from the dovetail fixtures that we started with, and it's been rolled out right across the products because it's there if you need it for more security and holding the components. Right, let's go see the self-centering vices as well, so keep going down. You were one of the busiest men ever. I've come to this stand about five times to get a hold of you, and you're talking to people the whole time. I've been trying to get away, Lindsay, <laughs> but, it's, uh, but in the nice <laughs> possible way, it's a great thing to, to have people here. So um, the people have been fantastic on our stand. So we, you'll see here we've got the smaller range from the very small uh, baby vice, the V75-100X, and then we've got the larger one. You can see this was a job that was done on, on the Matsura machine just down the hall. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the medium size and then we've got our automation um, offering, which is a, a new lightweight vice for smaller payloads on robots so that they can move it around and it's very, very light and, and again, flexible for people's systems. And then we go into our sort of larger vices um, and this is our new sort of uh, lightweight vice, which is, is basically you have very big heavy vices in most machine shops and um, traditional vices. It doesn't have to be like that anymore. So um, you'll see this has a large capacity, but even I can lift that up and basically you can show that it's, it doesn't need to be back breaking anymore for an engineer to, to load his machine and unload his machine. So Jason, I'm an engineer. I want to know a little bit more about how, how do I know which vice to go for because, or system, you know, is it easy for me to find that information out? Yes, it is. I mean, we've got several ways of doing that. It's either talk to us directly and we'd be happy to speak to anybody um, or we have something we call a 3D compatibility tool, okay. which is on our website or you can link straight from the Fifth Axis website and you can choose your machine type, your model, your rock lock base that you need for your machine. And Fifth Axis have already put the software together and worked very, very hard to put that together so it makes it easier for people to, to choose what they want. So it tells you what it has, it, it creates a model and you can download that model, whatever type of CAD file you've got, you can download it straight into your CAM system. Right, so we've gone from the self-centering vices and now we're doubling up. So what have you got here? Well, this is our um, double station vices um, from Fifth Axis, and they uh, call them juice vices. 
and you can see you're developing up for production and different types of applications where you might want to hold more than one component. You've got soft jaw setups, you've got hard jaw setups in a larger ju juice double station vise, but you've also got smaller double station vices, and we've also got our new offering of pin vices. Pin vices being used because they're a little bit less uh, heavy and, and lighter in weight, you can use them for automation and all sorts of fixturing. You're so versatile with what you have to offer the marketplace. Um, what should people really know about you as a brand to kind of take away from this video then? Okay, so we are a flexible, uh, we have modular products everywhere right across the, the range. The key is modular, is to reduce setup times for engineers so they're not wasting time, you know, setting machines, having doors open, spindles not running. So there is a myth about our products as well. Our key technology has always been the dovetail um, clamping, which is the 45 degree angle on the jaw location. But also, the myth is that we can only use this. It's not true. We can also clamp on materials up to 35 Rockwell with just talking up the vise and uh, for many, many applications. Nice, okay, so you've told us what we need, uh, but how do we get a hold of it? Okay, so it's uh, available. You can either um, go online to uh, griptech.co.uk um, or even to search up uh, equipment is fifthaxes.com and it will lead you back to, to us as well, of course. Um, or, or basically, we can, you can email us um, and that will be the way to sort of contact us. Stock is available here in the UK, so if you wanted a next day service, it's not a problem. We've uh, building the stocks over the last couple of years and we have plenty to offer for everyone. Brilliant. Now, did you enjoy going on camera uh, and being interviewed by the team? It was fantastic. <laughs> it's one of the best experiences of my life, honestly. But yes, it was good. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah. And pleasure. Thank you.